Hopefully we're going to buy some sneakers. Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Drip. Hey, everybody. My name is Mark Brutalier. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a special request from this individual right here. He wants us to style a nerd. So uh, let me just think for a minute. All right, I think I have somebody. Before we get into styling this said nerd, if you're new here, welcome. Subscribe to the channel, that would be super appreciated. We post about once a week, every Sunday, 5 p.m., which also leads me to hitting that notification bell so you know exactly when we posted. You can be the first person to watch it, like, comment, do all that stuff. That'd be cool. So we are in the car, heading to our first stop, which is a thrift store. Um, hopefully we find some pieces to style uh, this uh, here nerd shooting this uh, shot right now. Howdy, it's Cam Flicked, also known as Cam I really, I'm, I'm hoping they find me some boots. I'm looking for, uh, for nice denim, rare old denim, that would be nice. A new belt would be cool if they could find a nice little belt for me. Otherwise, I'm not too picky, just something that fits. Something that'll make me feel comfortable, you know, because I sit at a desk all day and I stare at footage. Just kidding, that's Ralph. <laughs> Alright, you can stop rolling. Alrighty, so we're about to head into the Salvation Army looking for some things for Cameron. I don't entirely know where I'm going to go with this. I think I'm mostly going to be looking for pants, maybe some accessories, things like that. I do think I might have a top for him already. Um, but we'll see what we find. I'm going to be hopefully going for more of like a streetwear type look maybe. Um, kind of get him out, out of his outdoorsy little vibe um, if possible. So wish me luck. What I'm looking for Cameron is maybe some uh, 90s grunge, maybe some early 2000s, Y2K, some deep hop style, maybe Space Cowboy, I don't really know. I wanna find something, take him out of his comfort zone a little bit. Can you see this pull back up for me? Shut up, Cameron. I'm not getting this for you. No, I'm just looking Leave at me it. alone, Cameron. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> you want this gravy neck? Nerd. <laughs> So what are we in the market for tonight, Mr. Mr. Mark? Some some nerdy sweaters for Cameron, some stupid jeans for Cameron, um, maybe some tank tops for Cameron, some spaghetti strap tops for Cameron. <laughs> this guy's a nerd. <laughs> what will I put Cameron? So, I've been thrifting for Cameron today, but more importantly, I've been thrifting for myself. So let's just take a quick minute to uh, diverge from this episode and uh, showcase some of my cops. For my first pickup, it's this North Face jacket. I purchased this today at Salvation Army. It was, you know, a little more expensive than it should have been. It was like 13, 14 bucks, but you know, it's a TNF. Good colors, good little neutral tones. I enjoy it, and I didn't know if I was gonna find anything else, so I didn't wanna, you know, risk not having any cops today, that'd be crazy. Secondly, probably my coolest cop, it is this MTV vintage tee on this old Screen Stars tag. Pretty awesome, probably, well not probably, it is from like the 80s, based off of the tag. Um, Play-Doh's Closet had this baby for $6. You don't usually see a lot of uh, vintage in Play-Doh's Closets, I don't really think they know what to make of it. Anyways, this t-shirt, 
is roughly probably worth about like 60 to 80 ish bucks depending i'll probably keep it for some time because honestly i like how it fits on me and i grew up on mtv so pretty cool pretty cool little vibe and for my next cop we have these uh green orange tab levi's love this color i do need to hem them as they are like a 34 length and yeah i have them like super cuffed right now but yeah i'm going to have to big time cut these there's also a huge um, stain on them. Epic win. And lastly, not really my cop necessarily. I was originally getting these for Cameron for this challenge. It's these naked and famous um, selvage like khaki jeans, which um, really, really awesome that they had these. There is like a blowout on the side that I'm gonna have to repair. Um, they didn't wind up fitting Cameron. They don't fit me either actually. I'm gonna have to tailor these. Um, but yeah, once I do, hopefully they'll work out. If not, then bummer. But really nice pair of pair of jeans, so cool. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks, thanks, Carlos. Different Carlos. Different Carlos. Carlos not the same Carlos. Carlos. Thanks. You did, you did good, Carlos. We we screamed again. We screamed for you. Yeah. I can't judge yet because it's not all up to just me. There's a, a couple of a couple of men out there, a pair of what might they say, kings. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is John Hogaboom, and I'm joined by my lovely co-host Saul Thompson. You can find us on Instagram at Pair of Kings Pod, and our personals are Saul Thompson and John Hogaboom. Today we are joined on our new YouTube channel mm -hmm. by Mark, who set it up for us. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Uh, alum of the pod, we really appreciate that, and uh, we're going to be reviewing some fit pics and fit mm -hmm. videos today. Stop. Full disclosure, we dress horribly every single oh, yeah. day, yes. so don't take anything we say as as law. I'm yeah. in a Nike Elite shorts and a Capital Fleece with yeah. like weird ankle socks. It's 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 the dumpster sure. fire of 2022. Explain Cameron. Yeah, let's let's give them some insight about our dear friend Cameron, who is not here to explain this himself. So we have full uh, advantage of the situation. Cameron, uh, since I have known him since uh, high school, I've seen his his style develop from a uh, hype beast to uh, what is now one might call like Uncle Core, perhaps. Um, <laughs> He loves him some Blundstone. He loves him some outdoor gear. He's a trail hunter. He's a trail hunter. Okay. He got me onto Arctic before uh, before Virgil ever even put it on or thought about it. So Cameron actually Huge. invented Arctic. Well, I guess without further ado, we will get into the uh, first outfit prepared for Cameron, which we'll do uh, the outfit presentation. All right, so this is my fit. <laughs> I like the coordination between everything. The fact that you managed to get all Wrangler, everything's great. Yeah, um, Wrangler, cut the check. I would have loved to see like a suede jacket to top it all off. Like a light brown suede jacket, maybe with a little bit of fringe. It's it's very like cowboy-esque, especially with mm -hmm. the boots and the bolo tie. Um, I personally would have loved to see some sort of like leather accessory or jacket to round it out. Or like a thick, thick belt with uh, like a big buckle. A buckle, yeah. Yeah. I think the cohesion is really good. I love the addition of the bolo tie. That's a classic and uh, something that Saul and I have been speculating will become a trend in the, in the near future. But overall, very solid I'm fit a though. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. Now we will show Mark's wonderful fit. I love this fit. Um, I really like the color contrast between the jacket and the pants. Uh, and I like the, the little bit of blending between the blue of the jacket and the purple of the shirt. Uh, I think the cropping is really cool on the jacket. It's not too long. Sometimes you see that in denim jackets. The GMBH ASICs were an absolute gem of a find. That's, yeah. that's crazy that you picked those up for 25. The only thing I might have wanted to see is maybe like a sweater instead of a t-shirt or like a turtleneck. The shirt, even though it is single stitch, kind of comes off as unremarkable because you have this really cool like oversized jacket this kind of like pop of blue you've got these really nice 
washed out green jeans and then a white tee i feel like you could have switched out almost any white tee and the fit would have been the same yeah and i like the respect for cameron's style you're not forcing him to go out of his his comfort zone i feel like if you had combined forces and donated the like denim jacket to the previous fit that would have like not elevated it but would have been like a match made in heaven because i love the jacket and i love the jeans i'm just not crazy about the tea this is gal's fit <laughs> Okay. It's super minimalist. It's yeah, great. The, where did you find that camo pattern? John Cena is a close friend of mine. Saul, John, what are we thinking, man? Let's let's hop let's hop into the the podcast studio. Put on our our tin foil hat so they can't read our thoughts. I'm gonna deactivate my my microchip that's been put into me uh, from Microsoft. We'll mm -hmm. confer. We'll come back to the boys with the with the final decision. All right, John. It's all. I feel like we, we may have reached a final decision. I think at the end of the day, this might, this might blow everyone's minds. I think you guys need to continue joining forces, combining these fits. We, we saw some great elements from both stylists, all three stylists, excuse me. We cannot, we cannot forget the work of Cal <laughs> uh, today. However, you're looking too far inward and you need to look outward and rely on the homies to, to create the perfect fit for your friend. Okay, I want everyone to take a look in the bottom right corner of your screen if you're, if you're watching on a desktop. You see that red button that says subscribe? I want you to click that button, do Mark a solid. Uh, he's trying to make a living off of this. You know, he's uh, he's a fashion man. And we want you all to support him and appreciate him and his friends for all the work that they put into these wonderful videos. For like, sure. comment, subscribe. And, you know, if you feel like listening to a podcast, maybe listen to a pair of Kings podcast, but that's up to you. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to get dressed by my boys and, and figure out everything that's going on. That was fun, that was a good time. Um, shout out to the Pair of Kings podcast guys, John and Saul, you guys were great. Really appreciate your input, and uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Elise Shane. Yeah, Elise Shane. And the winner is, in my honest opinion, from the bottom of my heart, is... A Calvus Dumbledore! Woo! 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 Woo!